Hi viewers, good day. Welcome to vSparks. Today, we are going to see a demo on how to install Docker on a CentOS Linux. The version that we are going to use for CentOS is number 8. If you like this video, please subscribe to vSparks channel and click the bell icon for the latest updates. This is the agenda of this video. We are going to discuss on these topics in this video. Before seeing the demo, we will discuss the operating systems and the CPU architectures that supports Docker. Docker is supported by variety of operating systems and platforms, primarily Linux, Windows, Mac, etc. In Linux platform, Docker is supported in many distributions to name few, CentOS, Debian, Fedora, Ubuntu, and so on. Docker is released as a desktop version in Windows and Mac operating systems. Docker is supported in other Linux derivatives as well. This table shows the supported OS distributions and the CPU architectures for installing Docker. Basically, Docker can be installed in three ways. The first method is to use Docker repositories. The second method is to install Docker manually using its RPM packages. Third is to use the scripts to install Docker automatically. Among these three methods, Docker recommends to use the first method that is installing using Docker repositories. In our demo, we are going to use the recommended method only. Now, let us see a demo on how to install Docker Engine on CentOS version number 8. Now, it's step number 1. We are going to connect our CentOS machine using SSH. To save our time, I have already connected to my CentOS machine. Just we are going to check what is the OS that is present inside this machine. And you can see that this machine is running with CentOS Linux and version number 8. Now step number 2, we are going to uninstall any previously installed Docker versions. To save our time, I just consolidated all the commands that we are going to use in this installation in a notepad, just I am copying it from there. All these commands will be available in the video description. You can see there is no previous Docker installations. Now it's step number three, we are going to install the M utilities. This M is a config manager in CentOS. Now we have installed the M utilities in our operating system. Step number four, we are going to set up the Docker repositories. Installing Docker with the help of Docker repositories is the recommended approach by Docker itself. The repository is being added. To check it, just go to cd etc m.repos.d. Now you can see docker-ce.repo is the repo that we have configured with the help of the previous command. Now we are going to install docker itself. This installation will install the Docker engine, the Docker CLI, 
and the Docker runtime within the CentOS operating system. Just give S to everything. Now we have installed the Docker. Now check the installed Docker version using this command. You can see that you have installed the community edition of Docker engine with the version 20.10.6 and also you can see the architecture as well. Now we have installed the Docker only and we haven't started the Docker processes. That is what we are going to see or do in step number six. To execute this, we are going to use a command called systemctl. Now we have enabled Docker which means whenever the OS restarts, Docker engine will get started automatically at the time of boot. I mean the OS boot. You see the status of the Docker process is dead. We are going to start it now. Check the status again. Now you can see the Docker is running. Step number seven is optional. We are going to add the current user to the Docker group. This is to give more privileges to the admin user to run Docker. With the help of this command, what we are doing is we are going to add admin user to the Docker group. Let us first check this admin users group. You see, he is not a part of Docker group. Now execute that command. Now you can see admin user is added to Docker group. So now admin user has more privileges to run the docker without pseudo permissions. Now it's step number eight. We are going to run a docker container. So currently we don't have any local images. So we are going to pull a image called whale say from the docker hub to run the container in our machine. So this image is available in Docker Hub and you can search the same in the search box. So once you execute this image in a container or once you run this image in a container, you will get a well kind of uh, uh, no image in your uh, CLI. Once you execute this command docker run, the whale image will be pulled from the docker hub to the local registry and then it will start a container with the help of the local image. You can see the image is downloaded and it has ran the container. We have got the output as well. To list all the containers including the stopped containers, just use docker ps a command. That's it.
that's it this is the summary that we have discussed for the past few minutes thank you from vsparks and thank you for watching this video